Hi, this is Pastor John from Millerville Community Church, and this is Evening Vespers. Tonight's meditation is taken from the book of Acts, chapter 2, 1 to 13. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Holy Spirit enabled them. Now they were staying in Jerusalem, God-fearing Jews from every nation under heaven. And when they heard this sound, a crowd came together in bewilderment because each one heard their own language being spoken. Utterly amazed, they asked, Aren't all these who are speaking Galileans? Then how is it that each of us hear them in our native language? Parth Parthians, the Medes, and the Elamites, residents of Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus, and Asia, Pycheria, Pamphylia, Egypt, and parts of Libya near Cyrene, visitors of Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans, and Arabs, were hear them declaring the wonders of God in their own tongues. Amazed and perplexed, they asked one another, What does this mean? Some, however, made fun of them and said they had too much wine. One of the great moments in the history of the world is the beginning of Pentecost, where the gift of the Holy Spirit is given, a remarkable event. And the gift of language is given. It is the reversal of the Tower of Babel, where God scattered men and women upon the face of the earth by confusing them in their languages because they realized that united, they would do great evil in the world. Nothing would be on, beyond their reach. So he scattered them so that they wouldn't do even greater evil until Pentecost came. And then he took all those languages and he put it together in their hearts through the gift of the Holy Spirit so they could speak them all. And so united in Christ, they reversed the effects of Babylon and began to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is the gift of tongues, speaking the languages of foreign languages of the world. For what purpose? To share the good news of Jesus Christ. Out of the many, we become one. Out of the many sinners lost in this world, we find ourselves being built up into a new temple for the living God through the gift of the Holy Spirit. You too can know that building up and can be a part of this amazing work of the Holy Spirit in your life as well. And you do that by being filled with the Holy Spirit. Let him work in you. If you would empty yourself of your own pride, walk humbly before you, and trust God for everything, you'll make room for the Holy Spirit to fill you up. Give him your time. Respond when he calls, do what he says, and let the Spirit fill your life so that you can even speak in tongues of men and of angels of the glory of God and the amazing gift of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Lord, we would empty our lives of all our pride, of all our arrogance, of all our sin and rebellion, and we would be filled with your Holy Spirit filled with your presence, filled with your desires to be like you, to learn like you, to speak like you, to love like you did. Lord, this is our heart cry. We would be your vessels on this earth where we could pour out your blessings on others and to hold nothing back for ourselves. Oh Lord, let this be our Pentecost today, a beginning of an every daily 
experience with you. We pray this in your name. Amen. I hope you pray that with your whole heart and you are willing to be a servant of our Lord Jesus Christ, a witness here and around the world. I'm so glad that there's no barriers, that by using the internet and us talking like this, we can be connected all over the face of the earth. If you want other people to find this and be a part of this, I hope you'll hit the share button below, the like button, leave a comment, send a link in an email, and let other people know about our ever-growing family of faith every Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Until we get together next time, this has been Pastor John from Millerville Community Church, encouraging you, as always, to keep the faith and to share it too. escape the city. Come to God's country. Come to God's people. to God's Word. Welcome to Millerville Community Church. We're just a short drive away.